Today, we will talk about ChatGPT, an artificial intelligence program that is taking the internet by storm. Why do we need to know this? Because our students may already be using this to do their homework. So let's not get behind. In this video, we will discuss what is ChatGPT, how is it used, and what steps should teachers take in the light of this new AI. ChatGDP is a type of computer program called an Artificial Intelligence Language Model. It has been trained to understand and generate human-like language. This means that you can have a conversation with it and it will respond in a way that sounds like a person is talking to you. Think of it like having a really smart friend who can answer your questions and have a conversation with you, but instead of being a person, it's a computer program. It was developed by OpenAI and made publicly available in November 2022. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. It refers to the specific type of language model architecture used in the development of ChatGPT. The model has been trained on a large body of text from the internet, allowing it to understand your prompt and generate diverse types of language and generate answers from simple responses to longer compositions. Just to clarify, AI is when computers are programmed to mimic human thinking and problem-solving abilities. They use special rules and data to perform tasks like recognizing patterns, making decisions, and understanding language. The goal of AI is to create systems that can perform tasks without explicit instructions and that can learn and adapt to new situations. AI has the potential to transform many aspects of our lives, including the students' learning capabilities. We will now discuss how to use ChatGPT. Stay until the end of the video to see what teachers should take into account in preparing their classes. To access ChatGPT, go to openai.com slash blogs slash ChatGPT. Then create a new account by logging in to your Google account or your Microsoft account. Once you register your new account, you will have access to this landing page where you will see a bar near the bottom where you can type your requests. Please note the limitations of chat GPT indicated in the third column. Here I treat chat GPT like a Google search engine and ask it for an explanation of McLuhan's concept on the medium is the message. Note that instead of a list of sources, ChatGPT creates a textual explanation on the concept. If I were a student, I could simply cut and paste this into my homework. What is lacking, of course, are references and citations. But it can do much more than that. In this next example, I ask it to do a 300-word movie review of Shattered Glass. It did a pretty good job, except that there was a lot of rhetoric. In this last example, I gave it the same exercise I would give to my introduction to news writing students. And I found out that it can write a news story. 
Of course, it failed to point out which was the most newsworthy element and it also muddled its lead. How will it affect teachers? On a positive note, it can facilitate the work of teachers in terms of creating outlines for lesson plans, defining terms, etc., giving you the correct formula for computing grades on Excel. On a negative note, students can use this to do their homework and therefore teachers need to be one step ahead to make sure students continue learning. How do we be one step ahead? First, aside from written homework, discuss the material in class to see if the students understand the material and not just copied it from an AI. Second, while ChatGPT has a high level of accuracy, it is not foolproof. And therefore, make your students be aware that it can be a source of misinformation. Third, Encourage critical thinking and creative learning. Ask questions that cannot be answered categorically. Also, since ChatGPT is at the moment limited to data prior to 2021, ask them to relate to something more current. And last, you can compare students' essays with ChatGPT to see if they are paraphrasing from an AI. But what about teachers? Let's take advantage of the technology. Chat GPT can be a source of ideas so that you do not have to start from scratch. For example, you can ask it for an outline of a lecture that you are developing and get ideas from there. Second, it can give you the formula you need to compute your students' grades on Excel and other simple formulas instead of working it out from scratch. And third, it can take care of mundane correspondence. Yes, it can write a letter or draft an email for you to suppliers or uh, to anyone given the data that you input. Many other things that can be done? Let me know what you think and what you discover by writing it in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel for more Teacher's Tech. I leave you with a poem dedicated to teachers from ChatGPT.